Being a composer, I attend to life with the same um, attitude as I attend to my music. In other words, I'm trying to create some kind of larger structure which consists of patterns and regularity and rhythms. I compose uh, throughout the day and I keep the same hours daily. What is important for me is uh, to preserve first part of the day for uninterrupted uh, compositional work. So I don't engage in social media or into my emails because I, would li I want my state of mind to be very pure and very devoted just to the musical practice. I see my work, my creative work, as a practice, not so much as work. And uh, what it means for me is being regular. And um, I've been meditating for 20 years. I've been practicing Buddhism and uh, I learned how to do it every day. And I know that by doing so, I establish habit, which makes it easier to do it in the future. So the same with my music. I attend to it. I engage with it daily. doesn't matter whether it's flowing or whether it's happening or maybe I'm stuck and nothing is happening, but still I am spending the same hours with my music. One of the future projects that I'm super excited about is called Hiddle Zone. It's an hour long piece for low range instruments and electronics. So it's uh, for bass clarinet, tuba, uh, contrabass, and uh, also a lot of more low range instruments um, recorded in electronics. This project was awarded the Guggenheim Fellowship in April and I will, I'm hoping to realize it next year sometimes. Scientists divide the ocean into five different zones by its depth and Hadal zone is the last one where no light reaches, where is absolute darkness. So I'm trying sort of to show this um, uh, immersion and going down into the ocean in musical sounds. I had two virtual premieres, one uh, vi viola piece uh, with electronics, a longer piece, performed by wonderful uh, Karen Bentley Pollock, and then a second piece for contrabass solo that was performed on Bank on a Can Marathon in June by fantastic musician Robert Black. And I also had a recording project in Lithuania with the Lithuanian National Symphony Orchestra for the CD of my uh, orchestral works. Through the pandemic, I found myself reading more than um, listening to the music, perhaps because I was uh, so engaged in my own creative projects. So I read uh, a lot of darker books, uh, such as uh, Nobel Prize winner's book, uh, Svetlana Alexievich, The Last Witnesses, uh, The Oral History of the Children from World War II, then also Fernando Pessoa, A Book of Disquiet, and then also, I always liked uh, reading letters by Rainer Maria Rilke.